Entertainment Tonight. It did take 33 carats to win the heart of Elizabeth Taylor. I mean, she never met a gem she didn't love, and they're all on display now. Emeralds, rubies, sapphires, pearls, and of course, diamonds, which are a girl's best friend after all. But for Elizabeth, she was a diamond's best friend. I kind of feel that way of myself about diamonds. We're very friendly. Over $20 million of her gems are now on display at the Art of Bulgari exhibition at San Francisco's De Young Museum. The suitors really did know the way to her heart through jewelry. Each husband recognized quite early on that they needed to give her jewelry to keep her happy. Eddie Fisher presented her this yellow and white diamond brooch worth over $1.1 million, but their marriage ended when she cheated with her Cleopatra co-star, Richard Burton. The pieces from Richard Burton really came initially as a result of their love affair. He gave her an engagement present of a very large emerald brooch, one of the finest emeralds in existence. That brooch was one of Elizabeth's favorites. She wore it at their first wedding and throughout the years. Bulgari now owns it all with the emerald and diamond necklace he also gave her as a wedding present. She often wore them together, and today they are valued at over $12.5 million. Elizabeth Taylor was really the last of the great movie stars to wear her jewels on the set. She used her jewels as props in movies and was proud that she never borrowed jewelry. This platinum and sapphire pendant from Burton is worth $5.9 million today. And Elizabeth commissioned this ruby red necklace adorned with diamonds for herself. Elizabeth was known more for her bobble designers than her fashion. Thank you for pal. <laughs> And it's mine. <laughs> but her best love piece, this 33 karat Krupp diamond. She told Mary Hart the story of when Burton gave it to her. So this is the famous Krupp diamond. That is the baby. Oh, Lord. It's so much a part of my life. But to have a diamond of that size, I mean, he can't just present it and open up a box. There had to be armed guards somewhere in the vicinity. There were, there were, uh, on the water, on the land. It was amazing. I bet. Well, you can see Taylor's Bulgari jewels at the museum until February 17th of 2014.